Australia has a new Prime Minister tonight, a change that could have a major impact here in Britain. Labour's Kevin Rudd swept John Howard out of office after 11 years. He's promising to pull Australian troops out of Iraq. And as a staunch Republican, the new Premier could also see the Queen removed as head of state. Salma Siraj reports. Today, Australia has looked to the future. Introducing Kevin Rudd, the 26th Prime Minister of Australia, the first new face in that role for more than 11 years. Out is John Howard, Australia's second longest serving Prime Minister. While his supporters will clearly take a while to accept defeat, Mr Howard has had words for his successor. We bequeath to him a nation that is stronger and prouder and more prosperous than it was 11 and a half years ago. <clears throat> that may be, but Australia has demanded change again. Voting in your swimsuit may be a familiar sight in a country where everyone must interrupt their day to vote, but the result of this election is a real shift for the nation. We should celebrate and honour the way in which we conduct this great Australian democracy of ours. There were no policy commitments today, but Mr Rudd has made his views clear during the campaign, issues that could have big implications for us. He says his first priority would be to sign the Kyoto Protocol, something Howard has refused to do. He's pledged to withdraw Australia's combat troops from Iraq and on the agenda too, a possible referendum on replacing the Queen with an Australian head of state. For tonight alone though, the policies can take a back seat. A big celebration for a massive win. Salma Siraj, ITV.